Hello everyone, I'm back again and I want to start by uh, recording the bass. Now, what I'm going to be using for that is Line 6 Helix Native, which I got because I used to have a HX Stomp and then I just really couldn't fit it in on my pedal board. And so I ended up selling it before I sold it, though I got Helix Native. And it's pretty damn good, I have to say. Now, like I did before with the drums, I want to kind of show you a free version you can use that i used to use this back in the day as well back in the day i had amplitude 3 and now for a free deal here like i said before with empty power drummer i'm not sponsored or anything but a free like you get uh, with amplitude 5 cs you get like i think five amps or two amps one of them's a bass amp so that should cover you. So anyway, back to Reaper here. Let me let me close this. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a new track. So we're making a new track. And then we're going to arm it. And for the FX, we got to find ourselves a bass amp. See, I already have Amplitude installed. I wanted to try it out to see... I mean, it's good. It's not, I like line six better. And we're going to add Helix Native. So I need to find me a bass amp here in all the settings. And uh, then we'll be good to go. Bass SVT Pro. Let's see how it sounds. I like it, and I can always tweak it more later. That's the great thing with the VST plugins is as much as I love the whole real instrument, real, um, you know, amps, drums, whatever, when you're trying to get an idea down, having the flexibility to tweak this a little bit, tweak that a little bit is always good. Also, it uh, has a tuner when you click right here and... A little flat. I've tuned before, but you know what happens. A few moments later. Okay, pretty good. Like I said, I can always edit the sound later. So now I got my track armed. Oh, I have to set the input. The input should be left, I guess. Or input one. See, see also right here you can change the input as well. So I guess we'll uh, give this a go. So here we go. I wasn't ready for that. And see when you when you stop recording, it gives you a chance to uh, save all, you know, delete, selected, delete all. So I'm deleting all. So here we go. Okay, so I stopped here at the right before the middle part. And what I want to do is have a count in. So how you do it 
is you click in the metronome, turn it on. If you right click it, it gives you a bunch of options. And I turned off run metronome during playback. And I turned off run metronome during recording. That's very handy to have both separated. And I turned off count in before playback, but I turned on count in before recording and I put in two measure count, which should be good. So here we go. And there we go. Okay, that was all for the bass. Now we're going to move on to guitars. So first thing I'm going to do is make a new track. And let me unarm the old track. That's always good to do. And we're going to open up Line 6 Helix Native. So let me arm the track. Let me go here to effects and let's go Helix Native, boom, add. So I like to go and use a 5150. So I, is it the PV Panama? Here, let me grab my guitar. BRB. Sounds good to me. Though once I get it on the big speakers, we'll see what it really sounds like. But like I said earlier, all the tweaking you can do at the end when it really counts, get your ideas down. And then when you do the real song, then you, uh, you know all the options you had and you pick the best ones and you don't have to sit there and go, man, I wish I did this instead. All right, here we go.
save all one. Yeah, one take. Once you get your ideas down, it's easy to just nail it, you know? So, on the base, I was sitting there going, okay, I'm going to do this part. What should I do here in the middle? What should I do at the end? But here, just doing it. All right, so next up is the other guitar. So, I'm going to use a cheap Squire Strat that has... Uh, the it, it's been modified it like it's been modified to heck it's like got all the electronics have been replaced it's got the seymour duncan everything accent in it and i replaced the tuners with wilkinson tuners the only thing i think i could do for it even though the nut's fine is add a bone nut but you know who cares uh so basically i got that thing ready to rock and i'm going to record that into another track so I'm going to open up and once again, line six helix. And for this double track, I want like more Mesa boogie. There it is, the Cali rectifier. Let me grab the other guitar. Okay, let's tune this bad boy up. A few moments later. All right, so close this up. Record is enabled. Let's start at the beginning. is a couple little lead licks here in the lead solo but first i'm going to get this thing mixed and i think the next time you see me will be the vocal and the kind of finishing up the track so i hope i showed you a, a way to record and hopefully this demo comes out pretty damn good so i'll see you next time and have a good one